Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to test some items to see if they are Bakelite. A few of these items are coming to whatnot, so be sure to follow me over there and look for that in a future show. I am Bolo Buddies, all one word on whatnot, and you can use my link down below. That will get you $15 to shop. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, we are gonna talk about testing for Bakelite. So first off, I'm just gonna grab something that I'm pretty certain is not Bakelite. What I like to do is take a wet towel and just wipe off the surface where I'm gonna actually be testing. That way there's no dirt that's gonna kinda skew my testing results. So the first one, I have cleaned the area. I do not believe this is Bakelite, but I could be wrong. We are gonna go ahead and we're gonna take Semichrome. This is what I use. It's pretty inexpensive. I just ordered mine off of eBay. And I'm gonna put it on a Q-tip and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go across the surface right here. Put this over here more. And you can see that it is just kind of a pink color, which is the color of the semi-chrome. So this is just plastic, it is not Bakelite. I don't know what kind of plastic, but it is not Bakelite. And then I will wipe off that area again, just to clean that off. Now. Here is a Cerakov necklace piece. Again, I don't think this is Bakelite, but I'm honestly not 100% sure. So I am gonna clean the surface. I'm actually probably gonna test it on the back here. Just, I've never seen the semi-chrome do anything to the product, but um, just to be safe. So let me put a little more of this. I'm just gonna barely, barely put just a tad bit on here. That's actually too much. So I'm gonna scrape some off. I mean, literally, you have to use just so little, okay? And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna run it across. And you can see it is still pink. And that's what I mean about getting the dirt off because you can see there's some dirt. And I even wiped it down. So make sure you wipe things down good. This did not test for Bakelite. All right, the next item, I'm pretty certain, I'm actually certain because I already tested it, but when I saw it, I was pretty certain that it was Bakelite. Um, this is a handmade uh, brooch out of a game piece. And I have sold game pieces that are Bakelite. So had a good feeling about this one, but I wasn't sure. So I'm gonna test it in front of you guys. And the last thing I'm gonna test today is amazing. Um, it's something I found in a junk box and I'm not sure what it is. So I'm hoping you guys can help me out with that. But I'm also gonna show you a couple other bracelets and then I'll show you that thing last. Okay, so I've got the pink stuff, the semi-chrome, and I'm gonna run it across here, and this is what it's gonna look like if it is actually Bakelite. But I'm gonna test a few more products just to show you guys. See how it has turned a clear orange color? That is Bakelite, okay? Now, let me grab something that is not this color, a different color of Bakelite, and show you. I'm gonna wipe this off first. Make sure to get it clean. I do actually have two of these, so I'm gonna test this other one real quick. I'm pretty sure it's the same, it's the same uh, game piece, but just to be sure, I wanna go ahead and just test it because I'm gonna be putting this over on whatnot. So I just wanna make sure that it is actually a Bakelite. And this one was probably a brooch and the back fell off. So you can see there is a clear orange color. So yes, that is confirmed Bakelite, okay? So I will probably take this one and add a pin on the back and make this a brooch again. If I can find a pin, otherwise I'll just sell it as is and somebody can fix it. But this one actually has some dangles on it. It's really pretty. 
So those will be coming to a future whatnot show. So I hope you guys will follow me on whatnot. I um, do online auctions over there. So we're gonna test this green piece. There is a uh, coupon down below that will get you $15 off. Um, actually, it's $15 credit towards your first purchase if you use my whatnot link to join. So definitely do that and come see me. All right, so I'm putting my pink, pink semi-chrome on here. Let's get a little bit of that on here. It's on there. And we're gonna take this green bracelet. I've already wiped it. And we're just gonna run it over it. And we're gonna see if this is Bakelite. I'm pretty sure this one was Bakelite. And it's green. And you can see it turned the same orange color. It didn't turn green, it turns this orange color. All right? So that one is a confirmed Bakelite bracelet. And just let me show you what this looks like. Isn't it beautiful? It's absolutely awesome. Okay, now this one is amazing. It's got like, I don't know if it's brass or I don't know what's inside. I'm not really great with jewelry, you guys. I'm just gonna be honest. Um, but Bakelite, I do know how to test for, so I thought I would pass on that knowledge to you guys if you don't know. And again, the piece we're gonna test at the end, I'm not even sure what to do with it. It's so incredible. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna run this over the piece. And I just like to rub it real good. And then we're gonna see, see that one? Let me do it harder. I think I was in an area that didn't have a lot of the semi-chrome on it. There we go. Ew. Well, that's weird. Never seen that happen. <laughs> I think there was something on here. Let me get a, another uh, Q-tip and let's try that again. <laughs> what on earth? Maybe it hit the metal. Do you think it hit the metal? I don't know. I'm going to wipe it all down again. We're going to try again. That was weird. Okay. So I got a lot on there and we're going to run it over this again. And we should get that dark yellow color. And that one's not coming off as dark. Let me just keep rubbing it here. I'm pretty sure this one was Bakelite. Yeah, I mean, it's just not as dark. So if anybody has any tips as to why this one is not as dark as the other ones, let me know. I am curious. I just need to keep rubbing it. I mean, it's definitely got an orange tint to it. So I don't know. If anybody has any feedback, would love that down in the comments. But I'm pretty certain that one is Bakelite as well. Okay, now, this is what I found in like a junk box. And I'm like, what is this? I still do not have any idea, but I'm like, that sure looks like Bakelite. Um, I think I'm going to test this for maybe sterling also. I don't know that it is. I probably could take a uh, magnet and see if it sticks to a magnet. Let's see. I have a magnet right here. It does not stick to a magnet. So that's not, in, that does not confirm it, but I know that's one test. But how beautiful is this? It all looks maybe artisan made. And this is the back. Does anybody know what this is? So it's two pieces. And my husband's like, well, I think that hooks into there like that. And I'm like, okay, well, that makes sense. But what is it? So neither one of us know. So let's uh, test it for Bakelite. And just see if it is. I've already tested it, guys, but wanted to test it for you. So we're going to get this here. I've got way too much on there. Okay, so we're going to run this over the brown area. And you can see it's clearly Bakelite. So I'm going to wipe that off. Now, I did test 
inside of here also. It was tricky. I had to like take my Q-tip in there and it tested for Bakelite also. I'll just show you, but man, oh man, it is a little bit difficult to actually test because it's in such an awkward spot. So I'm just gonna run it across here like this. And you can see it is also yellow. Um, but again, I wanna make sure that I get that off. I don't know if it would actually, I don't think it damages it, but I don't know. I don't know enough about it. So I just make sure that I take a damp, wet cloth, not like drenched, you know, but something that is wet and I get that off of there. So if anybody knows what that piece is, now I'm like intrigued and curious about this one again. I just wanna test it again in a different spot and just keep testing it. I'm wiping it down and I'm gonna test it again because it's driving me bonkers. Uh, let me get a fresh Q-tip here and I'm gonna put a lot on it this time. So we're really gonna put a lot of pink on it. So you can see what color it is before. I'm just gonna rub it. <laughs> I mean, it definitely changed. I think it's definitely Bakelite. Now, again, let me show you one that is not Bakelite, just so you can compare what I'm talking about here. We'll get another Q-tip. So we're gonna go with, um, oh, that has some, All right, let's go with this one again, okay? Because this one actually, I would think, ooh, it could be, and we'll test it down here in a bigger area. And you can see there is absolutely no change. No change, it still has like a pink look to it. So that is not Bakelite. So if I take this same pink and rub it over this one, you can see it turns. So not as deep and dark as those other ones, but definitely changes. So I'm gonna confirm that this is probably Bakelite and that this is definitely just some sort of plastic. And we'll get those wiped off. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope somebody can tell me what on earth this is. All right, I will see you on Whatnot and thanks for watching.